You know beans and nightshades are two of the worst things that you can eat. I eat beans all the time. Even when prepared correctly, beans and nightshades shouldn't be a huge part of your everyday diet. I eat beans all the time. I eat beans all the time. Beans and nightshades shouldn't be a huge part of your everyday diet. I eat beans all the time. It turns out that there are prebiotics in beans. You know beans and nightshades are two of the worst things that you can eat. I eat beans all the time. Welcome y'all. Today we're doing a deep dive. In this video we're going to break down the feature length film entitled Win the War Inside Your Stomach published by Dr. Stephen Gundry aka Gundry MD. Make sure to hit subscribe so you can avoid costly diet misinformation like what I'm about to show you from Dr. Gundry. In case you've never heard of it, When the War Inside Your Stomach is a one hour six minute video about diet, nutrition, food cravings, and digestion put out by Gundry MD. And from what I can tell, this lengthy film is published exclusively on his sister site, CutYourCravings.com. Now, why go to the trouble of paying people to produce and edit a feature length film with the intent of providing it free to the public and then not post it on YouTube at all within the first year after it's been out. My best explanation is twofold. Stay with me until the end of this video so you don't miss the important information I'm about to share with you over the next few minutes. You'll want to understand the marketing techniques being used before I deliver the hard facts and science on why you want to avoid Gundry, his digestion advice, and everything that goes with it. Listen carefully, because this is how they get you. Primarily, the purpose of Win the War Inside Your Stomach is to serve as the capstone on an electronic marketing funnel, in this case, CutYourCravings.com. You better believe they are skillfully using highly targeted social media ads to drive traffic to this sales funnel. Make no mistake, his film is a marketing tool used to close sales leads for a prebiotic supplement called PrebioThrive. Look, underneath the video, the next step takes you directly to a page with one-click checkout functionality with highly attractive bulk purchasing incentives. Ironically, this page doesn't even mention the name of the product because people who make it this far down the primrose path have already been logically and emotionally sold. One more click takes you all the way to confirmation. Furthermore, the YouTube platform doesn't really fit into this trust funnel because it's too easy for people to get distracted and click away while they're watching videos on YouTube and they would lose a lot more leads that way. To a lesser extent, choosing not to publish this film on a heavily trafficked public platform like YouTube also shields the content from criticism like what you are about to see next. Keep watching until the end of this video and you'll be enjoying keeping your cash in your own pocket and well on your way to better digestive health. In order to understand why this man would tell people not to eat beans and whole grains and simultaneously kick off a book tour and information campaign to spearhead supplement sales, we have to look at what he is selling and then you can learn why you don't need it. Ironically, if you simply eat the foods he tells you not to eat. As I said earlier, Win the War Inside Your Stomach is an hour-long sales pitch for a high-margin prebiotic supplement called PrebioThrive. Now, if you look at what's in this product, PrebioThrive, with the exception of flaxseed, these ingredients, or variations, are found mostly in processed junk food and other health-oriented junk food products like high-fiber candy bars and brownies. In the sales literature for this product, Gundry even writes that most people aren't getting enough prebiotic foods in their diet, and that needs to change. Yet he indisputably discourages people from eating beans on a regular basis, even when prepared according to his lectin avoidance protocols. 
You know beans and nightshades are two of the worst things that you can eat. They're packed with tiny proteins called lectins. And remember, even when prepared correctly, beans and nightshades shouldn't be a huge part of your everyday diet. Irresponsible health advice, but brilliant from a marketing perspective. Why? Because beans are one of the best sources of prebiotics. It turns out that there are prebiotics in beans. There are compounds in beans like fiber and resistant starch that are good gut bacteria eat. And so we eat a bean burrito at night. By the next morning, our gut bacteria are eating that same bean burrito and producing these compounds, these so-called short-chain fatty acid compounds, that then are absorbed back into the system and have these wonderful beneficial effects. It turns out that there are prebiotics in beans. Remember, the movie Win the War Inside Your Stomach is all about overcoming food cravings and improving digestive health. The high fiber content of legumes prevents them from being digested as quickly as meat, keeping you satisfied longer. And their low sugar content prevents insulin from spiking in your bloodstream and making you hungry. So how is this man able to contradict himself so thoroughly when confronted on national television about his health advice? In my book, I ask people to eat beans as long as you put them in a pressure cooker. The pressure cooker destroys the lectins. I eat beans all the time, and I, I have recipes in the book for beans. When clearly, this man discourages consumption of beans and legumes and whole grains as a key strategy of lectin avoidance. If you've been following my newsletter, blog, YouTube channel, or if you've read my new book, The Plant Paradox, you know beans and nightshades are two of the worst things that you can eat. They're packed with tiny proteins called lectins. And remember, even when prepared correctly, beans and nightshades shouldn't be a huge part of your everyday diet. These legitimate concerns raise other questions. Like, why would an acclaimed heart surgeon be referencing discredited bro science blogger Mark Sisson in his hour-long sales presentation? This industry is driven by confusion and false confidence. When you're confused, you're more likely to incorporate incomplete or incorrect information into your belief system. And I think the takeaway for people watching is if you're confused, okay, you're normal. It's a bit confusing, right? When it comes to something as important as diet, a few steps in the wrong direction can lead you down a path you really don't want to go where marketing funnels amplify sales by instilling false confidence in you, while actually perpetuating confusion. If you want to learn more about how to hang on to your health <laughs> and your wallet when it comes to popular diets and health, then cut through the confusion and hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and consider supporting this channel on Patreon with some of that money you just saved from buying beans instead of powdered processed fiber supplements. Red Pill Vegan, next.